develop a close Christians we on this subject is if you tell your spouse or you tell the one that you're talking to uh, about something that's going on and they belittle it to them they make like make light of it okay but you're trying to pour your heart out to them and they're not t- taking it serious so what happens is you you don't got hurt now so you 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 have what is called a closed spirit you you shut them out you won't share things that are happening to you that you need to share with them and 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 then you start to pull apart because you, if you don't live with a person, you're going to spend a lifetime with a person, you can't shut them out. You have to be open with them. If you start shutting them out, then you're going to start pulling them apart. So you have to speak out. You have to tell them. You know, Even if they hurt you, say, look, what you said hurt me. And one of the worst things that we don't need to do, and we're going to get into a lot of this later on in volume two, is don't try to retaliate. When they hurt you, don't you try to hurt them back. We play them games many times. That's right. We play and and and, 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 and always learn to go to uh, never go to bed angry with one another. Yep. Always apologize before you go to sleep. Always uh-huh. always that you know, even if you wasn't the one that caused the trouble, even if you wasn't the one that caused the trouble, you still are to apologize. And the man is, 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 is the head of household. He needs to make sure that that's done. If he's living for God, he needs to make sure that the household is in order before everybody goes to bed. You don't need to be angry with one another. Because I'm going to tell you what happens. When you go to bed angry, you wake up even angrier. Oh, yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Then you wake up, you're not even speaking to one another. You know about a bit. Go in there. And, and, and she go in there and uh, she fix her own breakfast. Don't even think about you. <laughs> he, he, he don't open the car door no more. You know, all day he stopped opening the car door. You know, y'all ain't speaking to one another. They had a uh, a write up one time about this couple that did that, and they lived together for ten years. Didn't even speak to one another. One slept in the front room, one slept in the bed, and, and the bed. Wow. Yeah. That was, I, that was total misery. And all it was was neither one of them was mature enough to make a decision to apologize. But, you know, sometimes you have to say, you know what, I apologize. Even if I wasn't the blame, I still apologize. Why? Because the Bible says we're to pursue peace. And, I, and, and if you can't have peace in your house, then you ain't going to have peace in your ministry. Timothy talks about that in chapter 3. I think it's around verse 5. He said, if you can't keep your house in order, how are you going to run a ministry? How are you going to keep God's house in order? Mm-hmm. So if you want to operate in a ministry, you got to keep your house in order. Amen? Amen. Amen. Are y'all all right with that? Yep. yep. Mm-hmm. All right. It says, uh, where are we at? Oh. Uh, it says, down the says, the marriage relationship is God-ordained. I'm still on page 5. And it has three basic aspects. The man leaves his parents and in a public act promises himself to his wife. That's the marriage ceremony. Uh-huh. The husband and wife, man and woman, <laughs> not man and man, not woman and woman. This is, we're talking God kind of man. <laughs> are joined together by taking responsibility for each other's welfare and by loving each other above all others. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you something too. When you get mad or upset with one another. Don't go running to your family telling them how bad this person is. Now, your family is upset with them. Now what happens is, you and that person, you and your, you and your mate, your, 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 your spouse apologize. Y'all smooth things out, right? But guess what? The family's still upset with them. So when they come around the family, the family rolling their eyes at them. Want to jump on them and, and fight them and, and, and tell them off and, and curse them out. But you mad now, I mean, you, you are right, but now you got to defend your spouse against your family. Don't go, you should, when, when two people get married, you, do you know who you run to first? Mm-hmm. God. Take it to God. And this is how you win an argument. This is how Flo and I win an argument, how, how we sell an argument. Whatever the word says, about what you are arguing, are you arguing about? Arguing about whatever the word says about that, and whoever's in line with the word, guess who's right? 
The one that's in line with the word. <laughs> the one that's in line with the word. Look at she always come up. She always says she right. But that lets you know she ain't in line with the word, but she ain't always right. <laughs> well, that's how you that's how you just that's how you settle an argument. Let the word of God be the settling, be, be, be what settles your argument. That way, you don't have to, believe it or not, if you do it that way, you can uh, work things out right there. You don't have to take it to your family. Mm -hmm. You got to love your spouse above everybody else. You got to, don't put the pastor above your spouse. You got some people do more for their pastor than they would their spouse. Love your pastor. I'm not saying that. Mm -hmm. But love your spouse above all others. When you, listen, when we do it God's way, every other relationship will work out. And this ain't just for married couples. In every relationship that we have, we have to treat people right. We have to treat them with love. But we got to love our spouse. And see, see, I'm not going to open the car door for nobody else if I don't open it for my wife. Are you hearing what I'm saying? This is we have to do things. We have to put our spouse above all others, even when you're upset with them. Some oh, I'm not trying to do this. some some people I've seen 